today we're going to be doing a Barbie pink look. That means pink eyes, pink cheeks, pink lips. Pink is my favorite color. I think it's always appropriate. There are two neutrals in the world, and that would be black and pink. So stay tuned. Okay, so to start, I'm applying my Urban Decay Primer Potion all over my lids and blending it in with my finger. And by the way, this is my song Double Decker. You can get it on uh, 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 iTunes, baby. Now I'm applying a neon pink shadow from the Coastal Scents palette all over my lid up to the crease. And you really want to pack it on nice and thick. Now with my blending brush from Sephora, I'm just going to be blending that all out. There's a lot of blending in this look, as always. You just don't want any harsh lines. And now with my tapered crease brush, I'm going into my outer V and crease with a darker pink color mixed with a nice purpley fuchsia color, both from the Coastal Scents palette. And for this look, I'm going to be using all matte colors on the eyelid for now because we'll be adding sparkle later. And with my blending brush from Sephora, I'm just going to make sure I blend everything out. And again, with my tapered crease brush, I'm just going back into my outer V's and adding a nice warm dark brown just for some more definition. And don't get excited, we're blending again. And with a little angled liner brush, I'm just taking the same neon pink as before and sweeping it on my lower lash line to the middle of my eye. And it's going to start looking like you have a really creepy bloodshot eye, but I promise it'll be pretty in pink when we're done. And now I'm just highlighting under my brows with a matte white eyeshadow. I mixed a little bit of a pale pink in there too, just to go with our pink theme. And now we're blending again. Yay! And now, back into the Coastal Scents palette, I'm just taking a little bit of a nice pale pink and applying it on the inner corners towards the middle of my lid. This is just going to highlight them and add a little more pinky definition to the look. Ah! And taking the same color, I'm just going to sweep it on the inner part of my lower lash line as well. And again, in my outer V, I'm just applying a nice matte black eyeshadow. I want this look a little bit more dramatic, so I'm just going to apply that really nice and dark into my outer Vs. You can apply as much as you'd like, as long as it's matte. And now, we're going to blend. We're going to blend it all together. Don't you just love blending? You can tell me what I really want to hear. You keep it so low now it's my favorite part it's time to start the sparkle i'm just taking a nice super shimmery eyeshadow from l'oreal hip called platinum and i'm overlaying it starting at my inner corners moving to the middle of my lid and now we're just going to gently blend it out this is going to give a nice wash of silvery shimmer all over our lids, but it's still going to stay concentrated in the areas that we originally put it. And to finish off the eyeshadow, I'm just going back underneath my brow bone and applying a little bit more of that matte white to clean up the look. And now with my handy dandy Neutrogena makeup wipe, I'm just going to define the shape that we want and clean up any fallout, getting rid of that hot mess pink thing we had going on our face before by sweeping from the lower lash line and continuing up to where our eyebrow would continue. This is going to give us a nice cat eye. Now I'm going to prime my face. I'm using my Estee Lauder Matte Perfecting Primer and I'm just going to blend it in with my fingers. Now it's time for foundation. I'm going to be using my handy dandy L'Oreal True Match Foundation and I'm in between colors right now so I'm using N4 and N3 mixed together. 
And ladies, please don't forget your jawline. And now for a more natural look and to blend all my foundation together, I'm just patting it in gently with my fingers all around my face, making sure to get under my eyes and in all the little wrinkles and crinkles all around my face. And now I'm applying my concealer. I'm using my L'Oreal True Match Concealer. It's a little bit lighter than my skin tone, but I do that so it gets rid of any darkness and also highlights under my eyes and down the bridge of my nose. The song you're hearing in this video is mine, and if you want to check out the rest of my EP, I'll post the link down below. And now to set all of my foundation and give it a more natural finish, I'm using Mineral Veil and a giant tickly fluffy brush. And I'm just making sure I generously apply it everywhere we put our foundation. And now to contour and add a little bit of warmth and tan to my face, I'm going to be using my bronzer from Physicians Formula and a small contouring brush. I'm just going to go underneath my cheekbones, down my jawline, up on my forehead along the hairline and along my temples, and also down each side of my nose. And then again with my giant fluffy brush, I'm just going to gently blend everything together so there's no harsh lines. Now I'm just applying a little bit of a pinky blush along the cheeks, but actually to let you in on a little tiny secret, I was out of pink blush at the moment, so I took a little bit of the eyeshadow that we used before, I applied it on our blush brush, and just gently applied it. And now with an angled brush and my e.l.f. brow kit in medium, I'm just going to start defining my brows. I apply the gel first in light feathery strokes, and then I go back and set it with the matching powder. And whoa, hey, look at the difference. And to make sure my eyebrows look natural and there's no weird lines sticking out, I'm just going to go ahead and brush them. Now, to highlight my brow bone and clean up the look a little bit, I'm applying Virgin, which is an off-white shimmery shadow from the Naked palette underneath my eyebrows. Now, on my lower waterline, I'm applying L'Oreal Infallible in Black Brown, which is a nice warm, really dark brown color, and I just want it nice and intense on my lower lash lines. Now I'm applying a black eyeliner along my upper tight line. I really want something dark and intense for a little bit of contrast. Here I'm using Smashbox Limitless Eyeliner in Onyx. And you really want to make sure to get that inner corner for a nice feline look. Now with my super slim liquid eyeliner from L'Oreal, I'm going to create a nice winged eyeliner look. I kind of like to start in the middle, then work my way in and work my way out and kind of just keep going until it looks as least messy as possible. And if there's anything I can tell you about liquid eyeliner, it's that you need a whole lot of patience if you want it to turn out looking right. Now I'm curling my lashes and applying Smashbox mascara. Lots of mascara. <laughs> now the other side. Now no look is complete without false lashes, so I'm using my Duo Dark Eyelash Adhesive and a pair of really long, dramatic, doll-like, Barbie-looking false lashes. And with a lot of patience and some maneuvering, we're going to get these suckers on. And I like as a finishing step to use a pressed powder. It kind of blends everything together, makes your makeup last longer, and it gives me even more coverage. I'm using my pressed powder from L'Oreal. This is True Match in N4. I really love to highlight my inner corners a whole lot. So for this look, I'm using a waterproof liquid eyeliner in a really pretty silvery color from Urban Decay. 
And to really layer it on thick, and because there's never enough sparkle, I'm taking my handy dandy heavy metal glitter eyeliner, also from Urban Decay in Glam Rock, and I'm just gonna layer it all over my inner corners where I put that silver color. And now to really intensify my false lashes and blend them with my natural ones, I'm applying Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. And now to highlight my face, I'm just taking a really shimmery eyeshadow in a champagne color and applying it lightly to my blush brush. And I'm just going to take that and apply it on the tops of my cheekbones and down my nose. And now for the most important part of this look, I'm taking a bright neon hot pink matte lipstick from MAC called Candy Yum Yum and applying it generously all over. And to top that off and make it super shiny, I'm applying a baby pink lip gloss. This is from NARS in the color Angelica. And we're gonna blend it all together now one last time. Now you're done!